Welcome back to our video series, 3D Printing Myths Explained. Um, if you've missed the last two episodes, please have a look in the description box. You will find the links to the videos there. Natalie, on the market there are a lot of different materials and different manufacturers of 3D printing filament. Um, they all recommend different printing temperatures for their filament. Um, why is that? Yeah, so every polymer has a different um, molecular structure, uh, different properties that come with that. So it, it, just talking about molecular structure makes it really basic. But that molecular structure um, has a huge effect on when a material starts to soften. And the 3D printing filament we start with is um, a rigid little rod, uh, and we push it through the nozzle, and there it's getting um, heated enough that it softens and we can extrude it. And um, what's really very different between materials is the softening temperature. Uh, we know, in, in most people know uh, melting temperature. It's when ice cubes melt and become water. But um, for polymers that are often used for FDM, like ABS and PLA, they have a slightly different structure and therefore their softening uh, is characterized by a glass transition temperature. So it's, uh, it's a slightly different phenomena, but it's really the softening of the material. And uh, here at Natch Analyzing and Testing, we have devices uh, to check uh, what the softening temperature is. Uh, we use differential scanning calorimetry, short DSC, uh, to analyze that. And a DSC really detects the changes in energy that's needed to change um, the state of a material. Either um, you need to input energy or energy is released. And um, for the different materials we have uh, for material extrusion, uh, we can detect either this melting temperature or uh, the glass transition temperature with that device. The uh, temperature, it's, the printing temperature itself, is normally still uh, much higher than that softening temperature that can be 50 to 100 degrees C higher. But uh, you also asked about the different manufacturers. Uh, so it's not only the polymer, um, but there's slight changes in, in the um, molecular lengths, for example, that then um, have a lead, leads to a different softening temperature and um, as a result to a different printing temperature. So a PLA, for example, uh, with the structural variation we can see in the polymer, the printing temperature could range between 10 to 20 degrees, uh, depending on the material. And for ABS, it can be even a little larger. Um, ABS is a, a more complex uh, polymer. It actually uh, consists of three different parts. So the material range in which it softens can be up to 30 degrees C. And so the, the manufacturer of the filament really needs to understand uh, their material and then make the recommendation based on that. Mm -hmm. What does the measurement of a filament look like? Yeah, so I picked one that I hope is quite interesting, even so it's not the most common uh, 3D printing filament, but it's coming more and more, and that's PET, uh, polyethylene terephthalate. Uh, I thought it was interesting also for, for a, a broader audience because it's the material used uh, in plastic bottles. So when we look at the DSC curve of uh, PET uh, as a function of temperature, as I'm showing it here, you see in blue the material behavior as we're heating it, and in red um, the same behavior but cooling it down. So the first thing we can see at lower temperatures is a little step in the curve, that's the glass transition temperature, and then um, at higher temperatures we see a peak where really that, that signal changes quite a bit, and that's where we need to put energy in uh, to melt the material. So PET shows both phenomena, glass transition and a melting temperature. And then um, uh, just for completion, when we cool it, we also see the, um, uh, the solidification of the material. We call that crystallization, and that's another peak. But there we actually have the release of energy. Great. Thank you very much, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, next week we will come back with a new episode explaining how you will find the perfect print temperature for your filament.